Hello everybody. Have you ever wanted to use your very own Arduino and control your Christmas lights? Pretty basic stuff. The code you're saying is going to be... It's not. It's so easy. This is it. You're going to create a bunch of integers. Now, you might be saying... Well, um, on my Arduino last year, I used the twenty, uh, the Mega Twenty Five Sixty uh, Arduino. Um, I mean, who wouldn't? So I used that back header pin so I could stick some. Um, if you're familiar with the Mega Twenty Five Sixty, it's got like fifty three pins or some crazy crap like that. You can do almost anything with it. So I wasn't about to use any of the other pins because. I had a ribbon cable, uh, like an IED cable, and I put pin headers inside of it uh, so I could plug directly into that. And then on the relay board, I had the same thing. I might upload videos of showing you how I did the, uh, how it was hooked up and all that if I can find those videos. If not, I'll make a, I guess I'll make a separate video and show you. But I'm no longer using this method. I actually have. Uh, DMX controller that can control over 1800,000 channels. It's just nuts, but it's RGB, so divide that by three. Um, anywho, back to the relevant part. You want to do Christmas lights. Okay, so last year, um, like I said again, Mega 2560 was what I was using as Arduino. Um, started with pin 22 and I want to use pin 22 so that's the reason you see the integer a is 22 this is actually this is actually the pin 22 on the 2560 okay on the 2560 there we go okay and this is the ending pin which I was which was going to be uh, 53 and so ending uh, can't even type today ending pin uh, 53 on of course the 2560 as well okay so um, so I just configured those as integers okay when I got to Z I couldn't go back and say it was A again, and these are integers, so I made it very simple. I made it relatively simple, and somebody else has done this too on online. I've saw, and uh, uh, this is the first time I've uploaded it, and I saw it before. I'm not sure, but um, I kind of went along with what they showed on Instructables, I think it was, is where I saw it. But when I get to Z, I started making the integer A, 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 B, A, C, A, D, A, E, A, F, stuff like that. I did, however, need an integer to store value into, so the integer I would equal zero. Um, basically, um, See, I think stuff like this should go down here, but <laughs> whatever, it gets confusing. And this is such an easy program, you shouldn't get confused at all. And then another integer for incoming byte, and I named it uh, return to value of 32 because we're, that's how many pins I have here, 20 to 32. Um, okay, so here's the setup, simple. Serial begin 9600 baud. Uh, pin mode A. So here's our pin A integer. That's number 22. We set it as the output, and we set all of them the outputs. Every one of them is an output. Pretty easy there. Even easier. Okay, if when the serial begins, if it's there, so we're saying if the serial is available then or is greater than or equal to 32 there's 32 uh, bytes available in the serial then 
uh, the integer i that we created up there is going to be less than 32 so it's going to start at 0 because it's equal to 0 you could start it scanning at 20, uh, 23 if you wanted to by putting in i is equal to 23 but no it's it's going to go to uh, it's going to scan from 0 to 32 these these pens see if anything's on there and i uh, plus plus which increments it 30 It'll go 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, until it gets to uh, 32. And then I'll start over again. And this happens within, you know, nanoseconds or something like that. Okay. So, um, again, here's the integer incoming byte, which we return the value back into i. Which, in layman's terms, we say, um, scan for this, this byte. And then take and make i that number. So if pin 7 goes high, then this will automatically equal 7. And then this will automatically pick up. Um, it'll pick up that byte. It'll pick up 7 and say, hey, 7 just went high. Make it high. And then your lights turn on. Which, uh, in this case, you would trigger a relay because you're not going to hook mains power into your Arduino. Okay, so very, very easy so far. It really is. If you understand a little C sharp, a little just basic C stuff, um, you can see that. It, I mean, if you're an Arduino person, you understand what I'm trying to say. You know, I'm might not be. I'm not the best at explaining exactly how it works and all the little layman's term or the nerd terms, I guess you can call it. But yeah, it's. I'm trying to keep this as simple. This is a like newbie-ish kind of tutorial. So, okay. So here's where all the magic's happening right here. Is it's digitally writing to pin A, and it's going to that integer incoming byte, and it's returning zero or one, two, three, four, and these are basically um, the integer numbers. So when I is counting, it's going to start at zero. So we actually have 33 channels here. Okay, so you could hook 33 relays up to these pins. Um, no, actually, 31, 32, 32. Yeah, we have 32 because it starts with zero. It, see, again, I'm getting confused already. But I stopped commenting these out. This was just for uh, show, you know, to see how how um the uh, the pins were um, if this was on an Arduino Uno this is how the pins would be configured here right here these um, all these pins here would you use those on Arduino Uno that was for my testing purposes and then I stopped with it I said the heck with that so that's it that is basically it this scans for an incoming byte if it ever if any one of these ever goes high it tells the pin mode to go output high that's it and it does that 32 times in nanoseconds and it's constantly well not a 600 baud that's not a 600 bits per second so um so yeah it's it's hauling ass uh scanning all all of these so it just goes through again scanning scanning back and forth just scanning 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 faster than the human eye can see or whatever and as soon as one byte is high it says hey I change over to 17 17 just went high and then that's what happens in it zero zero reads it and it outputs to that pen pretty easy um, I'm gonna try to uh, paste this code in the description uh, I don't think that's gonna work with the characters but if it doesn't at a later date I'll try to put up uh, I try to put it up somewhere um, that's free I mean or whatever um, and we'll see if uh, 
I mean, it could be just like a text file. It's it's really small program. Um, so, uh, I try to copy and paste this into the description below the video. Um, but that's how I controlled my Christmas lights. Now, these pins were hooked up to a relay array. So, pins 22, I only used 16 of them, really. I didn't really need to do all this to them. But this this was for the 2560, again. Um, if you're using the Uno, you're going to have to change these pin numbers uh, here to the actual pin numbers that you're going to be using on the uh, Arduino Uno or Delavo or whatever it's called, the old one. Um, but, uh, yeah, just, uh, I'll try to copy, I'm copying it now, and paste it in the description of the video, and happy Arduino-ing, guys, this is something, this is my first Arduino, um, kind of tutorial, um, trying to get into Arduino, it's confusing at some times, but it's also a lot of fun, and, uh, I hope everybody out there has a Merry Christmas when you do use this. Um, currently it's October, so I doubt it's about time. So have a happy Halloween and Christmas and New Year's if I don't see you again. Happy YouTubing.